myself, Dr. Dilip Kumar, Lecturer of Physics, Government Victoria Girls Senior Secondary School, Patiala. Well, dear students, today we will study horse and cart problem. This is based on the Newton third law. Action and reaction on a body are equal and opposite, but they never cancel each other because they act on two different bodies at two different time. Now, weight of the cart is acting vertically downward and the reaction on the cart offered by the ground is in the upward direction. Now, reaction pull of the cart on the horse is TCH which must be equal and opposite to the forward pull of the horse on the cart that is THC. As the horse pushes the ground uh, that is action and the ground also provides equal and opposite reaction and this reaction component can be resolved into two parts horizontal and vertical. This horizontal component is greater than the TCH then the horse will move forward and the weight of the horse is supported by the vertical component and uh, this uh, cart will move forward if uh, THC is more than F. Now we will study the same thing by drawing the free body diagram. Because horse and cart problem by drawing a free body diagram horse and cart problem As you know that this problem is based on the Newton third law of motion to every action there is an equal and opposite reaction but action and reaction never cancel each other because they act on two different bodies at two different times. First of all let us draw the cart. Weight of the cart is acting vertically downward. Normal reaction offered to the cart by the ground. This is attached to a string. Horse pushes the ground in the backward direction, that is the action. And at the same time, the ground also provides equal and upward reaction. Noted by capital R. This can be resolved into two components, one is horizontal and vertical and if this angle is theta then H is equal to R cos theta and vertical component is R sin theta. Weight of the horse is acting vertically downward. Horse will move forward. Horse will move forward forward if this horizontal component that R cos theta is greater than the tension T. So net force on the horse R cos theta minus T it is equal to M where M is the mass of horse. M is the mass of horse. Similarly, cart will move if tension is T small f is the frictional force if t is greater than small f. Net force on the cart that is t minus small f is equal to capital M A where capital M is the mass of cart. Equation number 1, market equation number 2, add 1 and 2 r cos theta minus t plus t 
माइनस एफ इज इक्वल टू स्मॉल एम प्लस कैपिटल एम इन टू ए टीपी कैंसर ए इज इक्वल टू आर कॉस थीटा माइनस एफ बटा स्मॉल एम प्लस कैपिटल एम दिस इज द कॉमन एक्सलेशन ऑफ द हॉर्स एंड कार्ट Free body. This is the free body diagram. Free body diagram means body diagram in which we only include the forces and the body is not taken into consideration. That diagram is called free body diagram. Our next topic is is connected motion. In this, we will study the motion of the two bodies connected to each other. it may be on the inclined plane it may be through a simple pulley first we will go for pulley problem let us assume this mass m2 is greater than the mass m1 m2g is acting vertically downward tension upward acceleration down the downward direction this is going up so acceleration is upward tension is away from the body and this is m1 g and here the tension is t dash now m2 g and apart fourth direction or any acceleration or direction so m2 g the equation is written below m2 g minus t equal to m2 a similarly write the equation for this T minus m1 g is equal to m1 a. Mark it as equation number one. This equation as equation number two. Add both the equations. It will become m2 g one plus two. Add both equation two. M2 g. Minus t plus t minus m1 g is equal to m1 plus m2 into a plus t minus t cancel. It will become m2 g minus m1 g equal to m1 plus m2 into a. Acceleration is equal to m2 minus m1 over m2 plus m1. n to g substitute the value of the acceleration in any one of these equation it will become n to g minus t equal to m to a a is m2 minus m1 m2 minus m1 over m2 plus m1 n to g t equal to n to g minus n to n to minus m one but n to plus m one n to g is equal to n to g n to n to plus m one minus n to n to minus m one n to g over M one plus M two, T is equal to M two square G. M one M two into G minus M two square G plus M one M two into G. The plus the minus cancel divided by M one plus M two. The tension is equal to two M one M two. Divided by m1 plus m2 into g. If the whole system is put inside a lift, if this whole system is put inside a lift and lift is coming downward with an acceleration a, then this g will become. T is equal to two m one m two over m one plus m two into g effective. G effective means T is equal to 
2m1 m2 the lift is moving downward m1 plus m2 g minus a a is the acceleration of the lift in this case and in case the lift is falling freely in case the lift is falling freely then this acceleration is equal to g in case lift is falling freely then g is equal to a tension is equal to zero and acceleration is equal to zero then there is no tension no acceleration if the lift is falling freely in the same manner if the lift is moving upwards you can take the positive sign over there and this is the pulley all about the pulley problem if the whole system is moving with a velocity v that is constant velocity uniform velocity the whole system is moving with the uniform velocity then the formula will be same as t is equal to 2m1 m2 over m1 plus m2 into g now this t dash here this t dash this tension the pulley is ideal pulley ideal pulley so in the case of ideal pulley net force is equal as you know it is equal to zero so net force is equal to mass into acceleration mass in case this case is zero so net force in this case must be equal to zero so t dash must be equal to this t and t two t must be equal to zero so t dash must be equal to two t so the tension here must be equal to two now multiply four m one m two divided by m one plus m two into g f is the frictional force over here here f1 is the frictional force here f2 is the frictional force t is the tension t is in this case is tension m2 mass m2 g is acting vertically downward this can be resolved into two components and this angle is al beta so this can be written as m2 g cos of beta and this is m to g sin of beta reaction upward normal reaction upward similarly m1 g is acting vertically downward and uh, this m1 can be this can be normal reaction on this this angle is alpha this is m1 g cos of alpha this is m1 g sin of alpha and we have assumed again that m2 is greater than m1 if there is no friction between the block and the surface there is no friction between the block and the surface then f1 is equal to f2 is equal to 0 that is then m2 g since acceleration in this case is again downward here acceleration is upward in this case it is downward moving downward in acceleration a so m2 g sin beta minus t it is equal to m to a similarly in this case acceleration is upward so t minus m1 g sin of alpha it is equal to m1 into a this is equation number 1 this is equation number 2 
add 1 and 2, it will become M2G sin beta minus T plus T minus M1G sin alpha, it is equal to M1 plus M2 into A. Plus T minus T cancel, acceleration is equal to M2G sin beta minus M1G sin alpha over M1 plus M2 Take the common, in case you want to take, otherwise this is the value of acceleration, m2, m2 sin beta minus m1 sin alpha into g over m1 plus m2 is equal to acceleration. Substitute the value of acceleration in any one of these equations, substitute in number 1, put it, mark it as number 3. Put a 3 in 1, then it will become M2G sin beta minus T it is equal to M2 into M2 sin beta beta minus M1 sin of alpha over m1 plus m2 into g then t is equal to m2g sin beta minus into m1 plus m2 minus m2 square sin of beta into g multiply this and this m2 m1 m2 sin of alpha into g over m1 plus m2 tension is equal to m2 square g sin beta m1 m2 plus m1 m2 g sin beta minus m2 square sin beta into g plus m1 m2 sin alpha into g over m1 plus m2. Now, this tension value comes out to be 2m1 m1 m2 into g m1 m2 into g sin of alpha plus sin of beta over m1 plus m2. Now, see in this case, alpha 90, beta 90, alpha is 90 and beta is also 90, sin 91, sin 91, 1 or 1, 2, so the tension comes up. Here is 2 m1 m2 over m1 plus m2 into g. We have just studied the motion of the two bodies on an inclined plane and the tension in this case comes out to be M1 M2G sin alpha plus sin beta over M1 plus M2 and acceleration is M2 sin beta minus M1 sin alpha into G over M1 plus M2. Now there is a simple numerical we have to Calculate the acceleration in this case. This angle is 30 degree. This is 60 degree. Mass is 4 kilogram over here and 2. Naturally, this mass is greater. So, we have to calculate. Just substitute the value in this case. A is equal to, we have just seen, M2 sin beta minus M1 sin alpha into G over 
एम वन प्लस एम टू सिंपल एज इक्वल टू फोर जी साइन सिक्सटी माइनस टू जी साइन थर्टी डिवाइड बाय फोर प्लस टू फोर जी साइन सिक्सटी फोर साइन सिक्सटी इज रूट थ्री बाय टू माइनस टू साइन थर्टी इज वन बाय टू g is common divided by 6 to 2 the 4 2 to cancel this comes out to be 2 into 1.732 minus 1 into g 10 over 6 now this comes out to be 2 to 4 2 3 6 3.464 minus 1 over 6 into 10 this is 24.64 divided by 6 now the answer comes out to be approximately 4.1 meter per second is clear this is the acceleration now the second numerical again how you see the what to calculate the acceleration formula is again same delta beta m2 90 here beta 0 alpha 0 see 8 sin beta is sin 90 sin 90 1 minus m1 sin alpha alpha is 0 over here sin 0 0 so very simple acceleration is equal to 8g over m1 plus m2 4 plus 8 12 4 plus 8 The acceleration comes out to be 8g over 12. 4 to 8, 4 3 to 12. The acceleration comes out to be 2 by 3g meter per second square. Now, numerical number three. Here there are this is a different case. Mass is 6 kilogram over here, 10 kilogram over here. 3 kg over here this mass is not moving this is acting vertically downward tan g and this is also acting vertically downward 6 g angle is 90 91 so assume mass is going to include karna hai jehde aapke ka down ja rahe hai jehda mass horizontal direction ch move karuga pulley de move hon de naal assi us nu numerical ch nahi consider karna hun apan is tarah ke chalde hain angle is 90 now you have to calculate the acceleration in this case so acceleration is equal to mg 10 g minus 6g over mass is 10 plus 6 plus 3 total mass 10 6 3 10 g minus 6g 4g over 19 so acceleration is 4g over 19 meter per second square now simple body problem This is four kilogram. This is two kilogram. This is acting. Four G is acting vertically downward. Two G is downward. Tension is upward. This upward acceleration downward. Acceleration upward means equation. Acceleration is equal to m two minus m one over m two plus m one into G. Now this comes out to be four minus two. Over four plus two into g, two by six into g. So acceleration is comes out to be g by three meter per second square. Tension T is equal to two m one m two divided by m one plus m two into g. T is equal to two into two into four divided by two plus four. Into g, two to the four four the sixteen divided by six into g cancel three eight. So answer comes out to be eight by three g newton. This is the tension. So this is the fourth numerical. Now fifth numerical. Now numerical number five. This eight kilogram. This is eight. G. Air G is acting vertically downward. Tension is upward. 
this mg sin theta can mg can be resolved to two component mg this angle is theta this is mg sin theta 4g sin 30 now make equation for this mass 8g minus t equal to ma now for this 4g sin 30 t tension upward t minus mg sin 30 is equal to ma add both equations 8g minus t plus t minus 4g sin 30 it is equal to 12a add 1 and 2 must t minus t cancel 8g minus 4g into 1 by 2 2 to cancel 12a 8g minus 2g 6g is equal to 12a a is equal to 6g by 12 so it is g by 2 acceleration is g by 2 meter per second square now substitute the value of this acceleration in equation number 1 8g minus t equal to 8 into g by 2 2 4 ka 8 the tension is equal to 8g minus 4g it is equal to 4g newton or if g is 10 meter per second square then 4 into 10 it is equal to 40 newton i hope all of you have enjoyed the topic we have studied a uh, horse and cart problem in which we have discussed newton's law how newton law helped to uh, in this case action is on one body and the reaction is on the other body and in the connected body motion we have studied um, motion of the two bodies connected to each other through a pulley in all the cases we have discussed motion of the two bodies connected to each other through a pulley thank you